Welcome back friends. This is the third uh, video session for a building system. I have done some project setup and um, entity mapping and I have given a Lomba configuration. I have done Lomba configuration for IntelliJ. We will going to walk through all those things today. I am using uh, Spring Boot 2.3.3. This is my project structure. Let me open my IntelliJ. I would like to develop a project using IntelliJ. If you want, you can use Eclipse also. See, this is my project structure. The project name is Building System. I created a, the parent package com.it garden. Under that, I have given controller package. The controller package, there is a simple controller I have written. That is working fine. This is my entity package. The entity, pa entity package I have uh, created all entity object. All entity object, whatever table I have created. For those table I have created an entity object. For example, address. See here. This is the column for uh, uh, my database table. This is the column for my database table. Uh, this is the attribute for my entity object. These are the attributes for my entity object. If you look at here, I am using here add data annotation. If you use this add data annotation, I don't have to generate getter and setter method. This add data annotation part of Lamba library. If you want to use this annotation, we need to add one artifact called Where is that uh, long back, long back? Yeah, this is the artifact we need to add. To support long back library, we need to add uh, this artifact. After adding this library, we need to install long back plugin for IntelliJ. We need to install long back in a Eclipse and STS. Those information I have given separate article. When you look at here, This is the article how to configure long back in IntelliJ Eclipse and FTS. Go through this article, configure the long back in your um, Eclipse for IntelliJ environment. Okay. Now this is a project structure. Then the I am using application normal file. I am not using application properties file. Okay. When you look at application normal file, I mentioned the server port number 9091. I, I don't want to use 8080 default port, port number. Uh, I'm using uh, 9091. For in your local machine, you can use any other port number. Okay. My application name is building system. JPA, under JPA uh, attributes, I have given so your skills true. So your skill true. That meaning, whenever you execute some SQL statement uh, through our application, through our program, that respective SQL code is shown in the console. This is the console here to show. Okay, that is the purpose of this particular attribute. Then DD DD if an auto nothing but whenever you change anything, for example, I want to change, I want to remove this column. I want to add one more column. When you when you add one more attribute here, when you restart the application, when you when you restart the server, automatically that column updated in respective table. That is the purpose of DDL if an auto. DDL if an auto update means whatever changes you are doing your entity object, that changes reflected in your database table. This is a DB connection configuration. DB connection configuration. I have this my database URL, this is my username, this is my password, this is a driver class name, driver class name. If you want to work this driver class name, you need to add a one artifact in POM.xml. That artifact is here. Where is that artifact? The MySQL, MySQL. This is the artifact you need to use. Okay. This is the about um, connection, conf uh, some configuration, connection configuration, some configuration about the billing system. This is a very minimal configuration only as of now. But uh, when we start developing based on our need, we need to add more configuration here. This is a login configuration. This is only dummy only. Okay, I will going to add proper login configuration soon. 
then what else okay now go back go back to the database i'll go to remove all the table now okay now i have removed if you want to configure database in your local machine uh open a work workbench create a create a one database called billing create a one database called billing okay after creating the building don't create any tables don't get any tables set up this project set up this project then start the application once you start the application whatever entity object available here for those entity object automatically table created by our spring boot application the reason is i have given here ddl hyphen auto update that is the reason it will create all the table uh, equivalent to our entity object that is the magic of jpa i removed all the table now i stop the application now i'll going to start my application now you can start from here as well as go to um, billing system application this is my main class from here you can start the application run look at the log closely now method set address one not available why what is this class okay okay uh, i have done some changes in entity object i think i i don't want to use this class itself okay i don't need this class as of now i remove it now i want to i'll going to run this application now application starting the application started at 9091 when you look at here tables are getting created tables are getting created all tables are created successfully application running under 9091 if you go to database as of now there is no table if you refresh it all table will come here automatically okay so you don't have to create any table manually once we set up properly our entity object equal on database table automatically created by our spring boot application okay now this object this entity object i am not creating a any setter getter method okay for that i installed a, a lambda plugin in my intellij okay in my intellij for that go to file and settings there is a plugins the plugins search lambda to come here now it this button is disabled I, I, because it's already installed it says installed already i installed plugin in my intellij so um it's a disabled once uh, once installed you have to restart the uh, restart the intellij then lambda will work perfectly okay you don't have to generate a setter getter method manually okay please watch please read this article okay please please read this article to set up eclipse sorry to set up lombak eclipse um, configuring lombak eclipse eclipse is not a straight forward as in uh, intellij intellij is very easy we have to install the plugin we have to restart the intellij then it will work automatically but eclipse is not like that we have to follow some step to configure the lombak that information i have given very clearly here please follow this complete your setup complete your lombak setup in your eclipse when you notice the um, you know, all entity object these objects are extracted from base object when you go to base object here i defined four attributes id deleted date created and date modified 
these four attributes common for all the entity object that is the reason i created a one parent class in that parent class i defined all these properties now my all entity object extend from this base class so that this attribute available for all my child object okay now i want to map this child map this column i want to map this column all my child object if you want to do that we need to use at mapped super class if you use at mapped super class this child this particular column automatically mapped with its respective entity object for example employee table employee table having a three column this three column mapped to uh, respective column of employee table now i want to map this column to in my employee table that is not possible without this annotation we have to define this annotation to map this column its child object okay that's the reason i'm using this particular annotation at mapped super class okay i have done some changes in the database table so i need to update the year, year diagram i'll go to create again go to database reverse engineering these are db these are store, connection information this is the host name this is the port number this is the username give a password then next you don't have to give a password is already remembered otherwise you need to give a password here my password is already remembered stored in wallet that's the reason i'm not giving any password here just i'm giving username then click next next i want to generate a diagram for billing billing database next next execute next finish i want to save this here er diagram as a jp uh, png file export as a png yeah diagram i have committed all the files um, you can go to my repository i have created a new repository if you look at the repository here suresh talin billing system here i can see uh, you can see two repository it garden a billing system it garden contains only the examples examples billing systems a project which we are developing now inside that repository i have committed all the files see here i will commit all the files i'll go to commit commit the er diagram to now some people are asking the er diagram i'll go to commit as part of this source code in the billing system root directory i will create a one, uh, one folder called document uh, doc in the doc folder i will going to commit okay hmm? controller entity all entity objects are committed dto dto will explain about the dto later I have not worked on anything about the dto just created some classes i'll go and explain later okay hmm? then please um, uh, read this article the medium.com if you don't have access in medium.com go to my site called pinepad.in the pinepad.in i have already posted the articles two articles one is building system using spring boot that is uh, um, how to configure yeah this is the article this is, this is the both the same article then how to configure long back intel j eclipse and sts both article i posted here if you have access the medium.com please uh, log create a new account and log into medium.com please follow me it's a good for me please help that okay i think that's it about uh, today i'll if you are struggling to set up this project in your local machine please let me know def definitely i will help you out apart from that if you whatever resource you need for example um, uh, the same youtube information i have shared in medium.com i have shared in pinepad.in those links i have given in um, uh, 
uh, YouTube description section itself. Then I have shared that uh, repository link also. Please take it from there. Until then, bye bye from Fresh. Still not subscribe this channel? Please subscribe it. Share this video to your friend circle. Click bell icon for regular updates.